Okay, we're gonna test for polar polarity, polarity, with the bubble test, and you need a bowl of water and some salt. Okay, so add salt. salt. And then you take the two ends, the negative and positive. We're just gonna show oh, power our supply. power supply here. There you go. Yeah, there's our power supply, and then you're supposed to put the two ends in here, and then. Um, the negative one should have a bunch of bubbles by it. Okay, flip the switch. It didn't work. Are you sure it's on? <laughs> it's on. Oh, there are little bubbles. You see them? They're little itty bitty bubbles. Um, hold on, I'm gonna mix the salt water up. Turn well, it off. Hold on a second. Oh my god, shut up! Okay. Oh, yeah. No, what? It. <laughs> Oh, gotta show I'm gonna mix the water up though. I know, I'm gonna get close in the bubbles. Stop fucking with it. At least it didn't explode like we thought. Is that enough bubble action? Mm -hmm. Why don't you uh, well, stir it in? Un unplug Just it. Stick your finger in there. I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> um, I'm gonna go get a thing. Oh, good job. Get a knife. To I was the spoon. only thing over there, so. There's no spoons. Well, I grabbed a knife. <laughs> it doesn't matter. No, Maybe no, we no. need more salt. Just do a little bit, then do a whole lot. Well, it didn't say how much salt to well, add. Well, do you understand? You don't even understand what you're doing. Yeah, I am. I'm creating salt water. <laughs> and what happens? It should, the salt water. What does the salt water uh, do, or what is the end result when breaking you Breaking the salt thingies apart. Water? No, basically it allows the electricity to flow through the water. Oh, whatever. <laughs> what are you drawing at the bottom there, Karen? Uh, I'm mixing. Get a freaking spoon! Oh, it's fine. Okay. So now let's try it again. Where's my negative thing? Okay, now we're pretending like we don't know what's what. Yeah, we're totally pretending. Okay. That didn't sound good with that. You notice that there's a lot more bubbles in there? Yeah, because I mixed it up. I told you. Right, but why? <laughs> it's not because you mixed it up, Karen. That's not the effect of why you have more bubbles. It's because you have more salt in there. Oh, should we put more salt to get bigger bubbles? No, we're not going to oh. fucking do any more bubbles, Karen. Mm. There's like this swirly thing. Yes, I see that. Because what's happening is the electrons are flowing from one to the other, Karen. Yeah. See all the little bubbles now? You gotta, you gotta get really close if you wanna see them. Don't touch it, you're gonna fucking blow it up. You think it will blow up? Nobody will pop a breaker for sure. Oh, okay, we're not gonna touch it then. We don't wanna pop a breaker. Because I think this is, what is this, the 15 amp? Yeah. We're, um, we're supposed to be using milliamps, I think. No shit. Yeah, so. <laughs> So it didn't explode, so that's good. Maybe you should put this entire video on the internet because it would be good for fucking teaching the youths of America. How to blow up their house, how to pop no, we didn't, No, we didn't need to pop any breaker. Um, the next video, we're gonna try the egg test with something with like thermolysis and like the egg. Thermolysis in an egg, huh? Yeah. I don't know how to explain it. I have to research that. Uh, uh, what you should do is blink a little bit more with the left eye. <laughs> so, yeah. So that was the bubble test for polarity. If you don't know what the, which one's the negative, which one's the positive, put it in a bowl of water. With some salt. The with some salt. Put it in some salt water. The negative one will have bubbles by it. That's how you can tell. Okay. Thanks for watching. Subscribe.